Citizens of Super Earth, I welcome you to the news and updates for Helldivers 2. In the next few months, we're going to see some amazing and beautiful things appearing in the arsenal for all Helldivers. Evidence has been uncovered in the game files for huge mech suits and new types of stratagems which are coming to the aid of all Helldivers. However, we must be careful in sharing this information with you because we do not want to be court-martialed. But before we jump in for democracy, if you can hit that like button and subscribe for the future of Super Earth, it would be very much appreciated. Now let's take a look at the big, beautiful mech suits that are coming to the game. The gameplay of the mech suits in action show that they will be able to deal out some serious firepower. It seems to be that both sides have a heavy duty MG, while one side also has some serious rocket power. I can't wait to get my hands on them and just cause mayhem. The devs have said that the mechs have been good to go for a while, but they're having some additional polishing being done to them. These suits also remind me of the ones in Avatar, and I'm also expecting the damage is going to be amazing. There is no official release date for them as of yet though, but we do have the devs saying that updates will happen to the war bonds every second Thursday of the month, so maybe we will see the mechs sooner rather than later. Moving on to some other amazing things which are coming to the game, we finally have drivable vehicles. We've seen these littered around the universe, mostly overturned, but now seeing the footage of these in action, these are going to be incredible and will surely bring some amazing heroics to Super Earth. Having these vehicles are going to be a godsend to all hell divers though. Getting from one point of a map to the other, especially if you need to get to extraction, because maybe you have a dick of a teammate who calls the shuttle down and the remaining three players are nowhere near the extraction point and you still got 10 minutes left so you want to destroy the nests. Yes, this happened to us recently to which he was court-martialed immediately. And we are still disappointed over this betrayal. Moving on, support NPCs. You heard that correctly. Super Earth is giving us support in the name of a small platoon of AI NPCs, who you can call down via stratagem. When these do become available, it's going to look more like Starship Troopers than ever before. It's going to be incredible, and I cannot wait. For these AI support NPCs, it could be up to four extra NPC people, mostly because there's a couple of rumors going around with the vehicles actually have room for eight Helldivers. Take that with a grain of salt as you will. Reddit user Stoddle on gaming leaks and rumors has gone through the game files and found a whole list of items from containers, cargo, to even brand new weapons. As you can see, the list is very extensive, but we must be cautious as some of these might not actually come into the game at all, which we have seen in previous video games, where items and missions have been found, but never released. And last, but not least, we have a new faction heading to the game. Well, it's not really a new faction because they are from the original Helldivers, and they are called the Illuminate. They are psychic aliens that were one of the enemy factions in the first Helldivers game. So fingers crossed we get a rogue map from Arrowhead who can show us what we can get excited for. Keep it up fellow Helldivers, and let's keep spreading democracy for Super Earth.